This is Srini, the host and co-founder of Blogcast FM, and I am here at Blog World with a very, very good friend of mine, John Falchetto from johnfalchetto.com. How's it going, John? It's going awesome. I'm loving being here, and uh, it's great to see you again. Yeah, likewise. So you've done a lot of things differently uh, since we last saw you. I mean, when I first met you uh, about a year ago, when we first connected online, your blog was called The Expat Life Coach, and you've made some major branding changes. Tell us a little bit about what was the driver behind that, why you decided to do that, and then we'll kind of get into some tactical things that people can take away from it. Sure. Well, first of all, I changed my business model. Okay, When I was running the expatlifecoach.com, my business model was very much to scale it up to hire a certain number of coaches. Um, because in my past businesses, that's what I've been doing. I basically have a whole bunch of people providing services. And I decided to change my business model and to really uh, focus on offering a personalized, customized service um, from myself to my clients. So I changed my name from Expert Life Coach to JohnFalcato.com because that's pretty much who I'm selling right, so, right now as myself. Um, and that's the reason why for the name change online. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, for people who are thinking about making that transition from a brand, for example, that they, they've built, um, any advice for them if they want to make that transition to coming out at, from behind the brand and being behind their name? Sure. Um, first of all, be absolutely clear why you're making a change. Um, just because you feel that you should put your name out there doesn't mean if it doesn't align with your business model then it's not a good reason right if you're thinking you're going to build the brand and scale it and sell it later then you know don't use your name um, if on the other side you're absolutely clear about what you want and you're clear about what you're good at and you want to sell those skills then for sure go use your name and uh, let the world know who you are so you said one other thing that I think was really interesting. You said, you know, does that align with your business model? Any things that people can do to figure out whether this actually does align with the business model? Absolutely. The first thing they can do is uh, really define their business model. Uh, you know, basically look at it in a very simple way. A lot of people get confused about what a business model is, but it's actually very simple. It's like, what are you offering? What's your value proposition? Um, who are you offering that to? And how are you going to deliver that? And then, you know, you can look at it, how it scales into the future. And that's about it. Um, sorry. And then basically, if you're going to do that on a one-to-one -one basis by using only yourself and your name, then you have to think about, again, the same things. What's your value proposition? What are you really good at? And how can you scale that? Great. Well, John, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Anything else you want to share with the viewers? No, it's a great place, and I really love being a blog world. All right. It's good to talk to you. Thanks a lot.